12 most common causes of joint pain you need to know. Are you suffering from achy joint pain which is disturbing your daily life activities and you have no idea why it is happening to you? Well, joint pain is the worst, and whether you are overexerted yourself in playing sports or have been working extravagantly, there could be many reasons why your joints are achy, and knowing the cause of pain could help you prevent and cure it. In today's video, we will share with you the 12 most common causes of joint pain you need to know. Let's dive into it. Number 1. You are simply getting older. Getting older plays a vital role in the weakening of joints. It becomes difficult for weight-bearing joints to function correctly, hip and knee joints, as you get older. According to Michael B. Gerhardt, MD, a certified orthopedic surgeon, age is the primary factor that causes joint pain. As you become old, the lubricating fluid inside your joints decreases and they become stiff and less flexible. Though aging and the body changes that come with it are inevitable, you could delay them by eating a healthy diet and regular exercise. Number 2. You may have gout. If you have swelling and red toes that are painful to touch, it might be due to gout. In this condition, uric acid accumulates in the joints leading to the swollen, inflamed area and achy joint. It mainly affects the joints of the toes, fingers, ankles, and knees. Accumulation of uric acid is due to an over-intake of protein in your diet and less fluid consumption. High protein consumption produces uric acid in the body that our body fails to excrete, and as a result, accumulation occurs. Adding omega-3 fatty acids and anti-inflammatory compounds to your diet could reduce the symptoms of the disease. Do you find this video interesting so far? Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Number 3. It could be a sign of rheumatoid arthritis. Arthritis is one of the most common causes of joint pain and affects nearly 58.5 million people in the United States. It is an inflammatory degenerative disease in which the body immune system attacks the lining of the joints and causes inflammation, resulting in enormous joint pain. In this condition, a person can't move his affected joint quickly and has difficulty moving it. Proper care and treatment at the early stage of arthritis and maintaining a healthy weight, physiotherapy sessions, rest, fish oil, and consumption of vitamins and mineral-rich foods are some of the things that could help in the reduction of pain. Number 4. You are dealing with bursitis. If you are confused about why your joints are achy, bursitis could be the reason. Bursitis is the soreness of the bursa, a small sac that is present between the bones and tendons and provides lubrication for friction. If a person is diagnosed with bursitis, it could be due to the repetitive action of the joint. Athletes, carpenters, musicians, and other professions requiring the same kinds of movements every day are at high risk of bursitis. It mainly occurs in the shoulder, hip, and elbow joints. For treatment, one should rest well, have light exercise, and medication. Number 5. Tendinitis could be the reason. Tendinitis, also named tendonitis, commonly affects the elbow, shoulders, and hips joints. This painful condition occurs due to repetitive movement of the joints. Connective tissues present between the tendons get inflamed and cause sharp pain and stiffness. Replacing the ice packs on the affected area or giving rest to the injured joints could reduce the severity of the pain. Without proper care, the condition could get worse and result in tendon rupture, requiring immediate surgery. Number 6. An old sports injury is causing the problem again. Injuries, especially sports injuries, are the common cause of joint pains. Improper techniques and wrong posture result in physical injuries that further lead to joint pain. Although mild wounds heal promptly, severe injuries take a lot of time. Strains and sprains are prevalent causes of joint pain. A person who likes to play sports or any other physical activity should take proper preventive measures. Adequate training and warm-up before physical activity can help in the prevention of strain. Number 7. You could have bone cancer. Types of cancer that cause tumor formation near or in a joint, such as bone cancer, could cause dreadful pain in the joints too. One should seek help from a doctor for proper medication in this condition. Early detection of the tumor could save you from the worst. Timely surgical removal of the tumor, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy are potential treatments. People with a family history of the disease, bone marrow transplant, and prior chemotherapy treatment are a high risk of developing bone cancer. Number 8. It could be due to infectious diseases. 
This type of joint pain is also known as septic arthritis. Bacteria gets into the joints and causes cartilage deterioration and inflammation, causing severe pain in one or more joints, swelling, and loss of movement. Draining infected synovial fluid from the joint and using powerful antibiotics could reduce the damage. According to a study published in the journal Clinical Microbiology Reviews, acute septic arthritis is an emergency condition and early diagnosis and treatment are essential for preventing any permanent complication. Number 9. It could be a symptom of lupus. Autoimmune diseases are conditions in which your defense system, immune system, starts attacking your body. Some of the autoimmune diseases severely affect the joints, and one of them is lupus. It mainly affects the joints of the wrist, hands, fingers, and knee. Joints become inflamed, swollen, stiff, and warm. The pain usually goes away with the treatment of inflammation. Corticosteroids therapy for inflammation reduction is often beneficial, but it has some side effects, and proper dietary management is needed to overcome the loss of nutrients like calcium and zinc. Number 10. Fibromyalgia According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, fibromyalgia causes pain all over the body, and joint pain is one of the early symptoms of the disease. An injury, stress, illness, or family history can increase the risk of developing fibromyalgia. There is no proper cure or permanent treatment of the disease, but you could reduce the pain by taking advised medications, reducing stress, adopting a healthy lifestyle, and doing regular physical activity. Number 11. Thyroid issues could be an underlying problem. Hypothyroidism is one of the potential causes of joint pain. In this condition, thyroid glands, a butterfly-shaped gland present in your neck, fail to produce enough thyroid hormones per your body's requirements. Fewer thyroid hormones production can lead to joint pain as they are responsible for lubricating the joints and keeping them healthy. Thyroid issues are most common in women around age 60. To prevent these issues, one should take proper medications, adopt a healthy lifestyle, and take supplements enriched with iodine. Number 12. Gonorrhea could be to blame. Lastly, gonorrhea is also a possible cause of joint pain. It is a sexually transmitted disease, STD. Although it is an STD, it doesn't only affect the genitals, but also creates havoc in joints. A condition known as gonococcal arthritis occurs due to severe gonorrhea infection. It is the inflammation of joints, resulting in severe pain and difficulty in movement. If left untreated, it could lead to chronic joint pain. The treatment involves draining fluid out of the joints and using antibiotics. These possible causes of joint pain can help you to find the root cause of your sufferings. It is essential to consult with a specialized orthopedic for timely diagnosis and treatment of the disease. An early diagnosis could save you from severe pain. So take care of your joints by eating right, being active, and frequently visiting the orthopedics. If you like my content, please let me know in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I can't grow this channel without your support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay healthy!